Hi guys, so this is going to be my first attempt at a tutorial. We're going to learn how to do this, which is the flat spiral stitch. And um, I've made quite a few bracelets. The colors aren't showing up very true on that one. But I've got this one as well that's a rotocrosite on the edges and then the moonstone down the middle. And then this one, which is blue gold stone in the middle. And... Um, Snowflake obsidian on the outside. So, right now I've got some beads out. This, these are the six millimeter um, check fire polish in milky mint, and these are the four millimeter right here in uh, in the same color. And then I decided to just use these seed beads, which um, are crystal AB. So pour some of those out and we'll get started. So it's a pretty easy stitch to um, get down. It's really quickly uh, stitched up. So first thing you're gonna do is cut your string. <clears throat> and I use the um, fire line because it's really strong and I tend to put a lot of tension in my beadwork, um, which I've always done. I probably always will, um, but if there's say like a Swarovski crystal, those edges could actually um, cut your strings. So you want something strong. And I apologize for my fingernails. They're just really gross. Anyway, so I think I have like a four, well, I don't know. I have a lot of string here. So I like just to start off with a lot more than I'm gonna need um, just because I don't like running out. So. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna pick up two sixes. Okay. And then you're gonna go ahead and string those onto your string. Pull them down. And then you're gonna to wanna to leave a tail so that you can work the string back into. So I would say at least six inches for the tail. Okay, so we've got our two beads. Now, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna pick up four seed beads. It's hard to do through the camera here. Okay, four seed beads. And these are size 11, by the way. And then one four millimeter bead. Okay, and then another four seed beads. So that's what you're gonna have, okay? So then you're gonna go to the bottom where you've got that tail hanging out, go through both beads, okay? And then you're gonna pull it tight. Now you don't wanna pull it too tight to the point where it doesn't have any flexibility because you want it to have a little bit of flexibility. So that's what we've got so far. Okay, so then you're gonna do the uh, same thing on the other side. So you get four seed beads. one four millimeter and then four seed beads again okay and then you're going to come under this second bead go through both of the six millimeters whoops don't drop your needle like i did And we're going to pull it tight. Sorry guys, I'm still, it's my first time doing any, uh, doing a tutorial. So I'm trying to figure it out as I go, really. There we go. Oh my gosh. My string's getting caught everywhere. Let me move these guys out of the way. So this is what you have so far, right? So at this point, you're gonna pick up one of the six millimeters, bring it all the way down to the top of that unit that you just did, okay? And this time, you're still gonna pick up the four seed beads, a four millimeter and four seed beads. So let's go ahead and do that. So remember four size 11 seed beads, one four millimeter bead, and another four 
size 11 seed beads. Okay, so this time you're going to go through the second to last. And then through this top one. Okay, and you're going to want it to lay on the top. Now, I always take the first one and kind of push it over to the side. That way the second one doesn't get caught up. Sorry about all the weird focusing. So then again, four seed beads. One four millimeter bead. And another four seed beads. Okay. Back through that second to last. All right. Now I like to pull it tighter every once in a while just to make sure that it's not going to be all flimsy. All right. So then you're going to pick up a six millimeter. If I can get to the hole. There we go. Bring it all the way to the top of that. Okay, now four seed beads, one four millimeter, and another four seed beads. Now you're going to go into here because you always want to go through two six millimeter beads, goodness. This is really hard to do looking through the camera. <laughs> um, so you always want to go through two of the six millimeter beads when you're doing your seed bead and four millimeter units. Okay. All right. Four seed beads. One four millimeter. And four more seed beads. Okay. And then go through this. Go through two six millimeter beads. Okay. All right. So now you're going to do that until you have something that looks like this. Right, and you're gonna have two tails one on the top, one on the bottom, or however you want to say it. Um, get this needle, so that's when you want to grab a class, which I did not prepare. I did not grab a class, so let's try, let's do a simple one, okay. So I just got a simple toggle here and you can attach spring rings and other different types of clasps as well. But um, you need a loop to bead around. So I'll show you how to, how I at least kind of finish up my flat spiral stitch bracelets. And this is one of my favorite patterns. I'd use it all the time because like I said, it's quick to work up. <clears throat> Sorry guys, we have some smoke coming down from Canada. Miss Eddie Blue, I'm just <laughs> that poor girl. I hope she, I hope she's not by the smoke. Okay, so what you want to do is actually get a couple of seed beads. So I usually do two seed beads and then string the clasp on, and then another two seed beads. Okay, and then I push them all the way up to here. Right? And then I go through all of them again in the same direction. Gosh. There we go. Right, so you have a loop and then mine kind of 
went all the way up, but you can just pull on this side and it'll go back down, all right? And then what I do is I actually um, weave some of the leftover string into the actual beadwork by following just the beadwork lines. Um, and I'll go ahead and show you kind of what I do. So I flip it upside down and then I'll go through one, two, three of the six millimeters. Now this is a little bit harder to do just because um, now you're working with the tension and all that good stuff. Okay, and then I will try to pick up one of the strings in here, go underneath it, and then pull until you have a tiny little loop. Okay, so see how I have that loop? And I'll take my needle, go through it, Make sure that you don't tangle the clasp up in it. Okay. And then I just pull it tight and that creates a little tiny knot, right? And then usually I'll go through these a couple of times and trim the thread. Because that knot, that's key to getting the bracelet to be um, nice and secure. So yeah, so that's all you do. Um, pretty simple bracelets, really quick to stitch up um, even for people that aren't into stitching it's a really quick bracelet um, or necklace you can use it as a necklace I don't really see it as a ring or anything like that or earrings but you could I guess I haven't used it as anything other than a bracelet though for my purposes so yeah so that's everything I hope you guys create some bracelets if you do um, and you want to show me, you can put everything down below or you can DM me or you can make a video and tag me on it and I could see everybody else's bracelets. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was nice and instruction, instruction happy, I guess. I don't know how to say that, but, um, easy. I hope it was easy for you guys to follow along. I hope it created joy within you. So thanks. Bye.